going president silent. And I've been telling them, don't worry about it. Whether he says anything or he doesn't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the people of Kenya have spoken. They have cast their votes. They have made their decision. In America, President Trump refused to acknowledge the win of Biden. He refused to call him to congratulate him. He refused to attend the inauguration. He refused to hand over power. President Biden is still the President of the United States of America. So, Mr. President, now the reins of power of this country, together with this entire team, is with you. The demonstration you have shown of your capacity to work around the clock is called upon even more because we have to change this country and put it back to where it belongs. Smash the state capture that our deputy talks about all the time and give back the country to its people. Move to a level where nobody feels they are infallible. We had reached a stage where, like in 1016, there was an arrogant king in England called Canute, who became so obsessed with power that he went and sat by the seaside and ordered the tide not to rise. <laughs> the tide rose and swept him off. And that's exactly what happened on the 9th of August this year. Our worthy competitors are threatening to go to court, but you've seen how what they're saying is replete with simple, cheap errors of arithmetic and law. And we tell our president, don't be distracted, keep your eye on the ball, serve the people of Kenya. And we who have worked with you will do everything humanly possible to make you look good, to make you look different, and to make you succeed phenomenally. Thank you.